Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to Accelerate Conference 2023, Pastor Yemi David. Can we lift our hands and glorify Jesus for the first half of 2023? Thank him for January, February, March, April, May, June. I'm grateful for your provision, for your preservation, for protection, for new visions and revelations. Mankero se kalabayaka. Please give him thanks, lift your voices. All over the world, in the various centers, Ikorodu, everywhere, United Kingdom, Ontario, Canada, uh, the mainland church, wherever you are joining all over the world, lift your voice and give God praise. And give God praise. And give God praise. Thank you for your faithfulness. Grateful. So grateful. For all that you have done, I am so grateful for all that you have done. Grateful, grateful, so grateful. My heart is full with joy. I am so grateful. So good to me. Your love and your faithfulness, favor and your love. So good, and I cannot tell it up. Father, we are grateful for the first half of 2023. And we offer you advanced praise for the second half of 2023. This second half, Father, will be far more glorious than the first half. For the victories we have seen, we give you praise. And we thank you for greater victories in the second half of the year. For the provisions we enjoyed the first half, we are grateful. But we thank you for greater provisions the second half of the year. Thank you for acceleration. Thank you for speed. The yoke of stagnation is broken. Whatever is holding down anyone's journey, Father, it's broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you for speed. Thank you for the unusual edge in Jesus' mighty name. Someone said it louder, amen. Uh, just before you get seated, let's appreciate our host, my covenant friends, Pastor Godman and Pastor Bola. Please put your hands together for them. Thank you for inviting me to be a blessing. I don't appreciate the leadership of the church uh, from the various expressions, Pastor Debo and his precious wife and the various leaders. And for yourself, making it to this meeting, put your hands together for yourself. Make it loud and let the world know. Hallelujah. You may please have your seat. Once again, I appreciate the privilege to be a blessing in this uh, great conference. It, it remains a privilege to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Uh, God would have can choose anyone to do this. So when we are picked, elected, or <laughs> selected, <laughs> I rev on. <laughs> it's a privilege, amen. 
Well, tonight, I, I want to talk about speed. Um, speed, Accelerate talks about speed. And there are things that we need to embrace if we must experience speed. I believe that the year is divided into two, as we see. In fact, this is 28th of June. It comes across to me as 28th of December. Saturday is July 1st. You can see it as January 1st. So if there are things that you missed the first half of the year, this is an opportunity for you to recalibrate, check it out again, and just bounce out stronger from July 1st. Articulate your vision. I'm so grateful for the message we just had today. Articulate your vision for the second half of the year. Distill it into some numbers, maybe seven items or 12 items, and get into the second half like a brand new year. And then see your race from July to December as another opportunity to make the most of 2023. It is my prayer that whatever setbacks we experience this first half, we're going to have greater victories the second half in the name of Jesus. So by December when we're having annual Thanksgiving, your downstairs will be greater than everybody's own in the name of Jesus. I mean, you will have greater reasons to celebrate God in the name of Jesus Christ. There are two principal reasons that uh, God would always bring speed to his people. The very first one is to restore lost seasons, lost years, lost opportunities. Uh, you know, scripture says in Joel chapter 2 verse 25, I will restore to you the years. That means we can literally lose out on years. Sometimes we can be in 2023 and be living a life of 2019. As Pastor was saying earlier, you, you should be like in chapter 7 of your life, but you, you look at it, it's like chapter 2 or chapter 3. There is a setback. The enemy had plundered the seasons. You missed out on open doors, on opportunities. You can tell there is that heavy dissatisfaction within you that this, I'm not in sync with destiny. I've lost Yes, you look at your age at times, you look at time, maybe finances, ministry-wise, and you, you can tell that ah, something is amiss. I pray that God will restore you this season. I pray that the years that the locusts had eaten, the seasons, the finance you missed, restoration will come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. So God now applies the principle of speed to cover up for the lost time, for the lost opportunity. So how do I gain speed? What are the keys uh, to working in this kind of speed? Uh, Pastor mentioned divine direction. There is a direction by the Holy Spirit to help us experience speed. Uh, Isaiah 40, uh, it says, uh, the young men shall utterly fail, uh, gives power to the faint, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength, and then they will mount up with wings. Mounting up with wings as the eagle is speed. It's a way God wants you to accelerate, but you have to wait on God. I want to encourage us during this conference, powerful sessions, uh, that's your way. That's one way of waiting upon him. Uh, some instruction, some direction will come from anywhere, from any, it could be the charge, it could be the guest speaker, anywhere. You will not miss yours in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a direction for speed. For Samuel chapter 30 verse 8, David had a setback. He had lost his uh, possessions that burnt their city. Everyone was in tears. All his men were in tears. They were weeping. But he did something. First Samuel 38. He said, David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And God answered him. The Holy Spirit will answer you. Yeah. Say, Pursue for you shall surely what? overtake them and without fail what will you do tell your neighbor you will recover all all you have lost you are recovering all in the name of Jesus Christ instead of tears of sorrow there will be tears of joy there will be moments of silence during this second half a silence of overwhelming 
joy. You know, you don't know whether to how to express just quiet that this is too much. This has to be God. Somewhere in August, somewhere in October, there will be families celebrating in their living room. I can't hear your amen. I see jubilation in your homes. I see celebration in your homes. Couples, we have to dance with their children in the name of Jesus Christ. But they that wait upon the Lord, David inquired, I want you to ask him in the course of this conference, Lord, okay, this has happened. What must I do to experience some recovery? Or what must I do to experience this breakthrough? We are one instruction away from our next level, from our, from our breakthrough. You will not miss that in Jesus' name. And then the other key to experiencing speed is to lay aside every weight. <laughs> lay aside every weight. I'm so glad our pastor hinted on that a lot. Many people cannot accelerate because they are carrying the thing God didn't ask them to carry. Lay aside Hebrews 12 verse 1 and 2. This was one of the moving forces that the Holy Ghost helped me with this year when we entered the year. He said, mind your business. There are many things you carry emotionally that's not your business. There are many friends you are moving with that you don't need them. There are many places you go to that you don't, they don't. If they're angry, you came. Can I have some of those bags? I told, I mean, if you have some of those bags, let's have some of those bags. Wait. And this is why many have very slow trips. You should have made more progress with your life, but you are carrying what God didn't send you. You have to locate those weights. And between now and Friday, which is the last day of this first year, first half, <laughs> lay them as, Let me just carry those weights and maybe you can understand. Oh, okay, help me here. Ah, ah, it's heavy. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to do that. Okay, put one on my neck if you can. Another one on my neck. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they are heavy. They are heavy. Ah, they are heavy. How much speed can I gain with this? How much? I want to accelerate. I want to run towards that place on time, on schedule. How much? How much? Some of us, the weight is an attitude. You are too prideful. They can't even correct you anymore. Your wife can't even talk to you. Pastor can't even talk to you because you have some millions or billions. Pride goes before you fall. Drop that one. Drop it. Drop it. Never get to a point where you cannot be corrected. And you don't choose who corrects you. All this, he, he, he has to be my mentor. Who, who, who wrote it in the Bible? It can come from your son. It can come from your staff. It can come from your spouse. Correction is a blessing. Rescuing you from destruction. If you miss it there, you head towards disaster. For some of us, it's fear. Just afraid. Oh, look at this new regime in Nigeria. How am I going to survive? How can you be thinking like that? There have been regimes, and there will be regimes. But this dispensation, we will prosper. Amen. The next four years will be your best four years so far. Amen. You're afraid that the world is going to come down. Are you the only one? Let go of the fear. Even to get married, you're afraid. You met one. Ah, I like how, but I'm afraid. You drop that one. You met another one after six months. Drop that fear. That is a very heavy one. Fear. <laughs> and there's one friend you carry from secondary school or high school. We have been bodies for 30 years. But it's not helping your spiritual life. And you know it. You take four steps spiritually. When you come for January prayer and fasting, by April, that friend will pull you back. And you know it. Drop him or her. 
For some of us, it's just laziness. You are too slow. You are too slow. Just do something. I'm coming. I'm coming. When? When? You know, when we do exams in school, it's not that people are not intelligent. A lot has to do with your rate of processing. That you have to answer these three questions in two hours. If they give you two days, you will pass. If they give you two years, you will pass. But the issue now is you have to process it when? Two hours. He said the Holy Ghost will quicken. Aha, stop being slow. Send the email, make the call. All this, I don't feel like it. Don't waste time waiting for inspiration. Begin and inspiration will find you. Nobody, nobody feels like praying. Nobody feels like giving. No, we subdue the feelings. Drop that one. What is it that you have to drop? Think a lot between, and you have your feedback from January till now. Stop making excuses. Excuses are not the real thing. Some of us, the weight you even need to lay aside is the physical weight. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You eat so much in the night. I'm going to pray by 12 midnight. I'm going to pray for one hour. And then by 9 p.m., carbohydrates. And then yeah, by 12 midnight. <laughs> Amen. And prayer life down. Maybe you're eating too much. And for some people, it's addiction to social media. It has wrecked your spiritual life. The time given to worship and prayer can't be compared to how, the, how you are Facebooking or gramming. Sometimes you need a social media fast to show that you are in control, not that it's controlling you. It's a major way people need to drop. And then they can. Lay aside every weight. And every sin, some of us is sin direct. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, you know, so it's the weight at times that graduate into sin. But for some people, there are sins, you know, Isaiah 59 verse 1 talks about, I, I, I want to hear your prayers, but something is blocking it. He said, your sin, he said, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, nor is hair heavy that he cannot hear, but your iniquities have, what? Oh, and your sins, are, he loves you, but there's a blockade. Sin is sin. Doesn't, you can't change it. You can't describe it as it's my temperament. Or it's just uh, my way of life. It's hindering your prayer life. And it's affecting your speed. Because except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. You need to make a list tonight or tomorrow and, and ask the Holy Ghost to help you and bounce out July 1st as a new person. A different person. A lighter person. So you can move with speed. The weights and the sins must be pushed aside. The Holy Ghost will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, when you're trusting God for speed, as you lay aside the weight and the sins that easily beset, you know the one that easily beset. It could be anger, excessive anger. Before they say one, you've broken everything. <laughs> there was a couple that I was counseling with years ago, and they said when his wife gets angry, she begins to break all the gadgets in the house. He said one day, they didn't even know when they were arguing. He started moving towards the new TV they just bought. He said it was an unconscious thing, just moving, anger. And then one day she pulled out the knife, and it was a big struggle. He, they had to arrest his own wife, and he had to bail her. <laughs> anger can be hindering your marriage. The words that come out of your mouth that, that stifles the romance in that home. And the moment that marital setting is not in good shape, it begins to affect your business life. You can't hide from it. He said, husband, dwell with your wife according to knowledge. You know, dwell with her, you know, as joint hairs, lest your prayers be hindered. So the way a man 
response or treat his wife matters to his financial prosperity. You might not be able to connect it, but Peter has connected it for you. It's not about I, I have strategy. No, there are, there are realms and there are realms. If that realm is not in shape, the strategy will not work. Mm -hmm. The ladies are saying, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give a new allowance from second half of the year. <laughs> I'm telling, try it out. I don't know how much to give her now. now. If you've not been giving now, oh. How great that was. Check your finances when you begin to give your wife a home allowance. No money for diesel. No money for fuel. No money for things that you enjoy yourself, food that we eat. Money's for her as you like. And see how God will treat you as you like too. Woman, when they give you money, what do you do? I'm grateful, right? Not that. Is this how much your men, your colleagues are giving you? The next thing is ask God for speed, direct. I mean, what you order from God is what you get. Ask God, Lord, send me. Good speed. I, 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 I learned a lot from Abraham's story. Uh, the, wife, the, the son, his begotten son, Isaac, um, they needed to get a wife for him. He was so... <laughs> Genesis 24, verse 12. I, I think the King James Version. So this guy was sent, uh, his chief of staff, his name is Eliezer, he was sent to look for a wife in Mesopotamia for Isaac. And that kind of project can take you, it's like coming to Lekki in Lagos State, that you should look for a wife or somebody. How long will it take for you? Can take you a, a, a whole year. You do a lot of activities, project fame. <laughs> Lekki Idol, for ladies alone, you know. And then you now begin to interrogate, and, and then Abraham can call you after six months, how far? I got the ladies are plenty, oh. But we have shortlisted 200. So when will you finish? Ah, 2025, sir. <laughs> it can take you forever. But this guy was very strategic. Look at it. He said, and he said, Oh Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, do what? Ah, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master. Now, Abraham is not our master, he's our own father of faith. Now, God responded to him. Now, lift your hands where you are all over the world and pray, Lord, second half of 2023, send me good speed. Lift your voices and mean it. Now, be specific with area of speed. Admissions, visas, new technology, an application you are processing, a document you need to get done. Father! I'm the seed of Abraham. Send me good speed if you're a minister of the gospel. Oh, lift your voice and pray for this. This second half is on Saturday morning. Send me good speed. You are trusting God for marital breakthrough. Send me good speed. Dakosata, Reda la Kosa, Marokoraka, Marok Sadabarabasete. Send me good speed concerning this project. Concerning this application, concerning this matter, God of heaven and earth, oh, covenant keeping God, send me good speed. Every force of delay is broken. In Jesus' name, Father, in agreement, we declare that we will experience good speed. July to December, there will be testimonies of acceleration. Yeah. Whatever has been held down by Laban, whatever has been held down by Satan, every stagnation from hell, I stand as your servant. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That which belongs to us, we get to us with speed in the name of Jesus. 
There are people here owed money and they've been delaying the monies for whatever flimsy reason. We knock on their door in the realm of the spirit and we command that the monies are released in the name of Jesus Christ. There are documents that belong to you and somebody in one office just dilly dallying, wasting time for several years or several months, I command that your tears are over. Whatever it will take for the documents to be released, let the angels of God organize it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone hearing my voice, trusting God for marital settlement. Father, this was what happened to Isaac. Rebecca showed up as he prayed. Father, between July and December, let there be matchmaking in heaven. The man that fits. The lady that fits. Let their legs meet in the name of Jesus Christ. If there be any generational curse by the blood of Jesus, they are broken. If there be any mistakes made, Father, we are gathered at your feet. Let your mercy prevail now. But we declare marital breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever that individual is all over the world that fits into your marital future, ah, there will be ordering of steps. The bone will meet with the bone. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be good speed. He says, send me good speed. And let's look at the next verse, 13. And he said, behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughter of the men of the city come out to draw water, verse 14. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink. Um, my Lord, uh, she said, drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. That was the prayer. Before verse 15, look at verse 15. And it came to pass before he had what? That behold, the document showed up. The email showed up. Amen. The call came in. Amen. The breakthrough showed up. Amen. The stagnation stopped. Amen. And it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold, Rebecca came out, who was born of Bethuel, son of Milka, the wife of Nahoy, Brown's brother, with a picture. And then the only lady he spoke to was Rebecca. He arrived in the evening. And then by the next morning, he was on his way back. What should have cost like a whole year? This second half will never be time that he wasted half. Yeah. By December, when you look back, it will not be a wasted half in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Do you know when this man got to their home, everything was perfect. He was ready to move. But there was a man, there's a man in that family his ministry is stagnation and delay. His name is called Laban. He has a way of delaying people. When everything was set, he now told them, eh, okay, eh, can she stay 10 more days? Uh, the man said, ah, after all that God has done, 10 more days. In my own mind, I was thinking, what if COVID catches her? And then she has to do quarantine. The man said, no. Then they now call Rebecca. Are you ready to go? She said, I am ready. So anyone that has been sent your way, that is an agent of delay, in any office, in any family, their voice is silent. Yeah. Hear me. If they need to be unseated, is that the correct language? Uh, move. Let the angels move them. There will be plenty of tears of joy this second half of the year. Some things will happen for you. You wonder, is it? You'll be pinching yourself. Is it me? Is it me? And God will be glorified. Then I looked at that verse. I said, 
This chief of staff to Abraham must be a prayer warrior, isn't it? That before he finished speaking or praying, the person showed. God said, yeah, the guy is very good. He has a good heart. But there's another major secret in verse 7, Genesis 24, 7, that that was where the breakthrough actually happened. Uh, Genesis 24, verse 7. Now, the servant said to Abraham, that, what if the lady does not follow me, you know? He said, no problem, don't force anybody. But he now prayed a prayer. He said, the Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that swore unto me, saying unto, my, unto thy seed, will I give this land? He shall send his before thee. One version says, he will send his angels ahead of you. I've been studying it for years. The Holy Ghost said, no, that is, I don't check other versions. He will send his angels ahead of you. So before the man got there, angels at Parisha. What's Parisha in English? So Rebecca was going to the kitchen to Oh, thank you. For Lord God of heaven, who took from my father's house and my native land, solemnly promised to give this land to my descendants. He will send his ahead. And he will see to it that your July is better than last year's July. So Rebecca went to the kitchen. Ah, I want to cook. Oh, Angel said, no. It's not cooking time. It's river time. I want to cook. You cannot cook. You have to move. As we are here, under this prophetic canopy, things are moving in the city. Yeah. Things are moving in the nations. Yeah. And the angel calculated the equidistance, right? Between the arrival of the servant of Abraham and Rebekah. So that there was another lady. She wanted to go to the river. Angel said, no. It's time to cook on Bonner. For your family, just stay. Don't go. It's not you, it's Rebecca. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Are they not all ministering spirits? Send forth to minister for us who are heirs of salvation. If there's any unusual edge you need, it's the ministry of angels. That before you get into July, they've gone to structure July. Before you enter into August, September, they're already there. So you arrive before you arrive. You understand? So by the time you arrive there, certain things are already cooked, already set, already settled. That is acceleration. That is speed. Mando kasata labaya. Lift your voice where you are and pray. Mando sake. I I I I release angels. Get on the keyboard, please. Raise tando korabasa. Release angels into October. Aradasa. Just the keyboard. Mando say, release angels over your children's education. Release angels over your political matter, over your business. September, October, they shall go ahead of us. Paraseka, Kerosata, release angels over your children's education. Over your financial matter. There is. Release angels right away. Release angels right now. Release angels. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping the word. You're not about to stop. Release angels in the name of Jesus. We break the barrier. Release angels into August, September, October, November. 
so far the testimonies you have never experienced before they are the kind you'll be testing the second half of this year everything Satan stole from you there is a thief in life if God shall pay sevenfold we release angels of restoration. Angels, go forth and bring restoration in the name of Jesus. He said, for your shame, you shall have double. Anything that constituted a place of shame in the first half of this year, marital shame, financial shame, I command that by the mercy of God, it shall be replaced with double honor. Your angels go goes ahead into July, into August, into September, into October, into November, into December. When you arrive at Christmas and you look back, regret will be far from you. By the crossover service of this year, when you look back, your life will be filled with thanksgiving. God will give you new songs to sing. It shall be said, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. It shall be said, see what the Lord has done. Lift your hands and give him glory. 